Tesla cars are unsurpassed when it comes to speed. Their outstanding speed is awe-inspiring. The majority of people think of quality when they hear the word Toyota. If Toyota is known for anything, it is producing durable automobiles. Of course, a reliable engine comes standard with every reliable car. On the other hand, Tesla has dominated the early phases of the new energy period, capturing investors' imagination with a vision for the next generation of cars and dominating the nascent market for fully electric vehicles. Tesla is the leader and, and pace setter in this industry. The fierce competition between these two main manufacturers over who will determine the direction of the sector is about to get a lot more interesting. What makes the new Toyota engine unique? How powerful is the auto industry? How does Tesla's new engine stack up? And how do the two automakers compare to one another? Since it enables us to create significantly more efficient generators, motors, and electrical distribution systems than their recurrent, alternating current, AC power is the energy current most wanted for supplying power to cars. As technology advances, electric vehicles catch up too and may even exceed their gasoline-powered predecessors. Although there is still a long way to go in the development of electric vehicles, the advancements made by businesses like Tesla and Toyota have given consumers optimism that transportation may one day be independent of fossil fuels. Toyota has long been a leader in the automotive industry and continues to give customers everything they desire in a car. Toyota consistently maintains an advantage over its rivals by providing the newest automotive technology, including gasoline-powered, hybrid, electric, and now hydrogen-powered vehicles. Toyota produces high-quality vehicles with a wide variety of options and a high resale value, and as a result, they have millions of fans worldwide. Toyota automobiles are well-known worldwide, and your dealer can give you access to replacement parts. Toyota has also created world-class engines that the market will always remember. Despite the COVID-19 epidemic and chip shortage, over 10.5 million cars were sold in 2017. In 1934, Toyota started creating prototypes of the cast components using cylinder blocks and pistons for the Model A engine based on the 1933 Chevrolet sedan engine at layout. When a cylinder was modified, the prototype engine's power increased to 65 horsepower from 48 to 49 horsepower. The popularity of the MK4 Supra is due to its six-cylinder 2JZ GTE engine under the hood. The cast iron block allows for the production of up to 750 horsepower. Understanding gasoline thermal efficiency is crucial to truly appreciate this new Toyota engine. The average gasoline combustion engine has a thermal efficiency of around 35%, but engineers have been working ceaselessly for over a century to improve this. Toyota engineers examine each stage of the engine cycle for ways to improve efficiency and they use Formula One technology to achieve high-speed combustion. Intake valve angle, laser-clad valve seats, and cylinder proportions were altered to better distribute the air-fuel mixture within the cylinder, resulting in more power and less waste with the world-best thermal efficiency of 41 in hybrid applications and 40 in gas-only vehicles. Toyota's new dynamic force engine helps it fight for every percent in the efficiency race. Toyota's new Camry uses a 2-liter, 4-cylinder engine with a new 6-speed manual transmission. The dynamic force engine produces 209 PS and 253 newton meters while consuming an average of 7.7 .7 liters per 100 kilometers. The engine was designed with high efficiency and low fuel consumption for driving and environmental performance. Using a high-compression moderated Atkinson cycle engine, it also achieved a high thermal efficiency of more than 40. Meanwhile, we're all aware of Tesla's achievements in the field at this point, with the Tesla Model S sedan capable of going 288 miles, reaching 155 miles per hour, and producing 687 pound-feet of torque. According to the EPA, Tesla's latest Model S Long Range Plus has a range of 402 miles, an increase of 87 miles over the vehicle's 100 kilowatt hour version, which debuted in 2016. Instead of relying on a tier one supplier, Tesla manufactures 
its own motor, inverter, battery pack, and other components. Because of this independent act, Tesla regularly changes those parts to improve efficiency. The major issue with most electric cars is that you must carry several batteries wherever you go. And most of us, if not all, do not want a large, heavy car. As a result, making a super-fast electric sports car was incredibly challenging. One of the significant reasons for the large size of engines is the space needed for cool air to flow around all that metal, and Tesla was up to the task of solving the space issue, allowing them to continue annually to reduce their motor size. The battery is the car's beating heart. Unlike other automakers such as Audi, Toyota, and Mercedes, Tesla allowed drivers to use the full capacity of the battery pack. In the case of the Model S, the entire 100 kilowatt hour is available to the owner rather than any capacity being held back for battery life. According to a Tesla engineer, Tesla has always included the entire battery in all of its vehicles. Batteries have a finite lifespan, and other automakers have promised backups ready to replace them if any of the cells fail. For example, the Audi e-tron has a 95.3 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is a gross figure. The pack's actual capacity is 86.5 kilowatt hours. There are also modest variances in pack capacity. According to Tesla, the capacity of a Model S battery is between 100 and 105 kilowatt hours. When you drive the Model S Long Range Plus, the car will tell you if you've used 96.2 kilowatt hours and have zero usable miles even though the 102.5 kilowatt hour battery pack still has about 6.3 kilowatt hours left. According to Tesla, the technology is supposed to work similarly to a gasoline tank with a reserve. Since the ambitious firm introduced the Roadster in 2008, the new carbon wrap motor is another mind-blowing addition to the new Tesla Model S amazing spec list. With the new carbon wrap motor, Tesla has gained an intriguing new capacity. The new motor enables Tesla to create an efficient electromagnetic field while maintaining a tight separation even at a very high RPM. Elon Musk claims that Tesla's carbon wrap motor is the most sophisticated motor on the planet. Tesla had a few concepts of turning torque into RPM, but they developed the carbon wrap motor in the process. These motors can be carried by a single person and spin at outrageously high RPMs. We cannot think of anything more ridiculous than a two-ton car being accelerated from 0 to 60 km per hour in under two seconds. Developing new motors is not easy, and Elon Musk recognized some of the difficulties his team encountered. Since the thermal expansion rates of the two materials, carbon and copper, differ a carbon over-ramp motor must be wound at extremely high tension. As a result, before they could achieve their goal, Tesla engineers had to first design the apparatus that would create the motor. Tesla Grunman Automation, a German company, constructed it. Compared to a typical steel or aluminum rotor, the new motor produces a stronger electromagnetic field. The carbon sleeve also prevents the copper rotor from enlarging due to an abrupt rise in speed, allowing the rotor to spin more quickly. The dual motor model of Tesla offers a range of 412 miles or 420 miles if you're being conservative, compared to the tri model model's 390 miles. Charging time have increased dramatically with the 480-volt supercharger that can add 187 miles of range in just 15 minutes. It wouldn't surprise us if Tesla's new carbon wrap motors help bring a new age of vehicle manufacturing and design. Additionally, Tesla's thorough engineering will enable it to achieve amazing specifications. We are eager to see the new Roadster especially because Tesla has said it is developing an even more potent version. On the other side, Toyota and Yamaha are working together to develop a powerful V8 engine driven by hydrogen that is based on a 5-liter engine in the Nexus RCF. The engine was initially a typical vehicle before Yamaha modified it, changing the injectors, intake manifold, cylinder heads, and other parts. According to estimates, the new hydrogen-powered engine can generate up to 455 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque. The Toyota portfolio's newly added and expanding fuel alternatives have brought the pursuit of carbon neutrality much closer. We're here to watch as the competition between these two automakers for market share intensifies. That is our video for today. We hope you like it. 
So what do you think of these two automakers engines? Share all of your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.